the book of Ruth. Now it came about in the days when the judges governed that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in the land of Moab, and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of their sons were Melon and Chilion. They were infinites of Bethlehem in Judah. Now they entered the land of Moab and remained there. Now Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left with her two sons. They took themselves a Moabite women as wives. The name of one was Ophrin, and the name of the other was Ruth, and they lived there about ten years. And then both Milion and Achillion also died, and the woman was robbed of her two children and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law, that she might return to the land of, from the land of Moab, for she had heard that the land of Moab, that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. So she departed from the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her. And they went on their way to return to the land of Judah. Now Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each of you to your mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. May the Lord grant that you may find rest, each in your house of your husband. Then she kissed them and lifted them up their voices and wept. And they said to her, No, but we will surely return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Return, my daughters. Why should you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb, that you may be your husbands? Return, my daughters. Go, for I am too old to have a husband. If I said I have hope, if I should even have a husband tonight, and also bear sons. Would you therefore wait until they are grown? Would you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is harder for me than it is for you, for the hand of the Lord has gone forth against me. And they lifted their voices and wept again. And Ophion kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. Then she said, Behold, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people. And her gods return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or turn back from you, following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. Thus, may the Lord do to me and worse, if anything but death, part you from me. When she saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more to her. So they both went until they came to Bethlehem. And when they had come to Bethlehem, all the city was stirred because of them. And they, and the women said, Is this Naomi? She said to them, Do not call me Naomi. Call me Morai. For the Lord has dealt bitterly with me. I went out full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. Why do you call me Naomi, since the Lord has witnessed against me, and the Almighty has afflicted me? So Naomi returned, and with her, Ruth of the Moabites, her daughter-in-law, who returned from the land of Moabite. And they came to Bethel at the beginning of barley harvest. Ruth 2 Now Naomi had a kinsman of her husband, a man of great wealth, of the family of Abimelech, whose name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, Please let me go to the field and gleam amongst the ears of grain, after one in whose sight I may find favor. And she said to her, Go, my daughter. So she departed and went to gleam in the field after the reapers. And she happened to come to the portion of the field belonging to Boaz, who was one of the family of Abimelech. Now behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said to the reapers, May the Lord be with you. And they said to him, May the Lord bless you. Then Boaz said to his servant, who was in charge of the reapers, Whose young woman is this? 
The servant in charge of the reapers replied, She is the young Moabite woman who returned with Naomi from the land of Moab. Moab. And she, and she said, Please let me gleam and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. Thus she came and has remained from the morning until now. She has been sitting in the house for a little while. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Listen carefully, my daughter. Do not go gleam in another field. Furthermore, do not go on from this one, but stay here with my mate. Let your eyes be on the field, which they reap, and go after them. Indeed, I have commanded the servants not to touch you. When you are thirsty, go to the water jugs and drink from what the servants draw. Then she fell on her face, bowing to the ground, and said to him, why have I found favor in your sight, that you may take notice of me, since I am a foreigner? Boaz replied to her, All that you have done for your mother-in-law after the death of your husband has been fully reported to me, and how you left your father and your mother and the land of your birth, and came to the people that you do not previously know. May the Lord reward your work, and your wages be full from the Lord, the God of Israel, under those whose wings you have come to seek refuge. Then she said, I have found favor in your sight, my Lord, for you have comforted me in indeed, and indeed have spoken kindly to your maidservant, though I am not like one of your maidservants. At mealtime, Boaz said to her, Come here, that you may eat of the bread and dip your piece in bread in the vinegar. So she sat beside the reapers, and he served her roast grain. And she ate and was satisfied and had some left. When she rose to glean, Boaz commanded his servant, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and do not insult her. Also, you shall purposely pull out for her some grain from the bundles and leave it that she may glean, and do not rebuke her. So she gleaned in the field until evening. Then she beat out what she had gleaned, infant of barley, and she took it up and went into the city, and her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned. She also took it out and gave Naomi what she had left after she was satisfied. Her mother-in-law then said to her, Where did you glean today, and where did you work? May he who took notice of you be blessed. So she told her, mother-in-law whom she had worked and said the name of the man with whom i worked is boaz and naomi said to her daughter-in-law may he be blessed out of the lord who has not withdrawn his kindness to the living and to the dead and naomi said to her this man is our relative he is one of our closest relatives then ruth the moabite said furthermore he said to me you shall say close to my servants until they have finished all of my harvest. Naomi said to Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that you go out with his maids, so that others do not fall upon you in another field. So she stayed close by the maids of Boaz in order to glean until the end of the barley harvest and the wheat harvest. She lived with her mother-in-law. Amen. Stay tuned to 3 and 4.